All right, yes, and that hurt more early on. You can kill enemies up to 100 and some experience, so this could be ultra quick. Uh, it just depends on what we're going to be able to find. And what we find here in the treasure room may matter. Really, that magic point growth is probably going to be the key here. Spider's ring. Oh, wow. Herb. And magic key will be the last one, because it always is. And Chroma very quickly used the herb, probably by accident. That's hilarious. Um, but what we're going to see, uh, also one special thing about this, we are operating on very fast experience, which means that the level 10, the benchmark we have to hit to win this, is a thousand experience. And oh my gosh, Hawksness, Hawksness. right off the bat with Hurtmore. This could be ultra quick. Uh, it's probably a little too early. Uh, HP's kind of sketch for anything significant. Hey, if you make it to uh, that grind tile and that's an Axe Knight, that's a one shot. And uh, 130 experience, you don't have to kill 10 of those to finish this. But it looks like we have an Armor Knight. That is not knight. happening. Yeah, they're gonna get to him. Sent back home. All right, so we see uh, we have drools with two DL2 breath that are pulling around Hawksness. The enemy itself is an Armor Knight, which is a minimum two hurt more kill. With 31 hit points, they're probably not gonna be able to pull that off, but. They do give 172 experience, which uh, you would need a grand total of six of those, if my math serves, to uh, to win this race. So if we get any sort of hit points, this could be over very quickly. Oh boy, yeah. I mean, it's tiebreaker flags are meant to be very, er, not flags, uh, settings or rules are supposed to be a very quick race. You know, very fast XP, first to level 10. Yeah, we see uh, now knights also in this zone have DL2 breath as well. Uh, Chroma is whittling down on a scorpion, but isn't able to kill it. Um, with 16 experience, he would have gained a couple of levels if he had just nuked that thing. So it'd be interesting saving the hurt more with uh, this much MP right now. It might be worth it to just use the hurt mores on things you know you can kill and just keep getting sent back to home. Yeah, well, now both of our players have seen what we have in the Spike Town. We'll see where they go. Chroma finds a wolf, excellent enemy, 40 experience right off the bat, and that would put him straight to level 4. Okay, then. Not bad. Kind of surprised that's all there was with four or three levels there, but... Yeah, that was level. That was three levels, and he gained uh, not even a ten in a single stat. That's actually pretty terrible. But yeah, did get stop and heal though. That's not gonna do anything against steal two breaths. Yeah, Sausage decides to to nuke the droll. And uh, he is looking at, is that level four as well? Uh, level three, but he's very three. close to four now. Yeah, well, this is, this is not going to last very long at this rate. Now, Chroma finding a Spectre throws a Hurt more out on that. We do have enough magic on both sides to do to three heal more, so that, act, uh, that Armor Knight is possible, but the hit points, they're probably still a sitting duck. And uh, level 5 on Chroma's side, he's got a little bit extra magic power now. That's up to four Hurt Mores. Yeah. Not going to be able to survive the AK-47, though. I think it hit for 50 or something. Yeah, this uh, defense power, oh. they're basically sitting ducks. Now, Chroma at level 6, which sounds very progressive, but we are still just barely over 10% to the goal, so... Uh, still a long ways to go, and this armor knight is still pretty juicy. But getting uh, sausage at um, set, getting ambushed probably isn't going to do it. So I think Chrome, um, if he doesn't get back attack, might be able to kill that armored knight at this point. Yeah, to that... her, to her, more than probably a maybe three. But yeah. Yeah, that will, that will be the thing, if uh, not getting ambushed, but also we've seen two enemies in Hawksness with DL2 breath that can ambush him, Sassage meeting a sleepy magician, 
Uh, not really what you want to see either way, experience-wise, or just to even run from. Uh, so getting to the Armor Knight oh, itself might I be a challenge. I think he's going for it. All right, full Shit. resources. He's got a couple in the bag, and the Armor Knight ambushes him with sleep. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> This is such a tease. You got an enemy that you can double hurt more right off the bat. Uh, possibly roll the seed, and it has a lot of attack power and sleep. So, so about that AK-47 strat. It's got to be really tempting, though. Even if you only have to kill one per cycle, it is, again, they're worth 172 experience, which means they're worth 17% of the goal. Uh, if you did that and died, if you got 50% on that guy, that would probably be worth it. Yeah, but like, sleep though. Yeah, being able to dodge the sleep is going to be tricky. They do have stop spell, so that might be a strat. They might throw that out. Chroma here hitting level 7. Again, the way the experience works, we're still only, I guess on his end, 27% of the way there. So uh, we still have plenty of room to grow. It's just the levels come really quickly at the start of the game. Yep. And he, we only have three levels left till, uh, you know. Right. And, uh, oh, he's found a zone with Wraith Knights and Metal Scorpions. Uh, both of those are pretty good. Wraith Knight, I believe, is in the uh, the 70s, and the Metal Scorpion with 31 experience. It's not normal that when we do this sort of thing, we worry that much about the particulars of experience, but it's definitely important in this sort of race, because that's all we need. Also, very close to level 8. Gonna take a death here, though. And Rogue Scorpion's on top of that. It's still another great enemy. I'd be surprised if he goes straight back to Hawksness now. It might be going out a little bit to keep trying to fight with those, because uh, it's all decent experience. Sasage, on the other hand, is just barreling back there. He knows he has enough hit points to survive one attack. Um, has he seen the sleep on the AKs? I'm not sure if he has. I know he tried to stop spill, but he was uh, dead meat at the time. I don't think he has. Chroma ran away from Metal Scorpion. He's fighting the second one. I'm a little confused about oh. that. There's a town. I'm not sure if there's any reason to go in at this point. Our tracker saying he thinks that uh, Sausage did see it. Uh, ouch. All right, and then... level 8 for Chroma. Yep, so he's made a ton of progress. We have a bit of an experience gap, but if you look at that number difference, that's barely more than one armored knight. That's how much that thing is worth. And uh, it looks like right now it's just a, a siren to Sasage. He keeps wanting to go back there and fighting it and just dying on the beaches. Yeah, I, I don't think that AK-47 is a good idea. Just to sleep and... Yeah, it, it's just... It's unfortunate, but just not worth it. Well, he does take down the Droll, gets level 7. Again, he's not too far behind, and it looks like he's just grinding in the Hawksness zone. Again, we did see uh, Knights there. They do have DL2 breath, but that is a decent enemy for a one-shot hurt more, and that might be what he's hoping for here. Yep. Yeah, Axe Knights would be great. I think uh, Magic Wyverns, if we found those, that would be something to just sit on because... You'd basically be invincible against them unless they have a sleep spell or something like that. Well, now that you've said it, you know that it's gonna if we encounter one, right? <laughs> and Stone Men also in this zone. Uh, without sleep, even with sleep, Stone Men are pretty much right out, not an option. You'd have to get a double hurt more and hope they rolled really low on hit points, and that's not uh, worth the effort, I don't think. No. So, different strategies oh. here. Sasage is really sticking with what he's seen. Chroma is kind of wandering all over the place. Hey, he's found another cave. That, I mean, if there's a good zone here, that could be good. Uh, maybe we'll see what it is here in just a moment. And it is... Oh, Splunk Cave! Here's a spike tile. This could be better. Let's see? I'm not entirely sure how the uh, 
sun sort. Well, uh, blue dragon is not what you want to see. It's something that you can take down, but oh. <laughs> uh, it's got almost 50% resistance to hurt more, and uh, yeah, there's no reason that. But uh, rogue scorpion's in the zone, a great hurt more enemy. He might uh, just chill here for a little bit if he finds a lot of these, and that alone could take him to 1,000. Yeah. And, I mean, we're about to see how much XP he has right now. Oh, they have uh, sleep, so maybe they're not the best thing in the world to fight. Although sleep and hurt combined isn't too terrible. We are halfway to our goal on Chroma. Yep, we are almost there. Uh, looks like he is going to try to grind here a little bit more. He does have outside, but there's not really any real any reason to cast it here. He would just take you out the north side, which is where he came in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, he found a droll in there, and I think he decided drolls aren't worth dealing with because of the potential for ambush DL2 breath. And then uh, he tries to run away from a skeleton, 25 experience, still pretty useful, but uh, gets a hurt more for his uh, failure, which is not so good. And a wizard. Wizard is basically unfightable in the seed. Yeah. So that experience gap was a, a little over 200, now it's about 170. Sass has just been settling in for uh, a very specific grind while Chrome has been kind of going everywhere. Looks like he's going after that armor knight again, which one kill would uh, tie them up. Yeah, but what's the odds? Uh, you know? Not great. I am wondering. It looks like we might have 50% uh, sleep on that armor knight. And maybe he's trying to get a stop spell in, but I'm, it would be interesting to see what their stop spell resistance um, is. Alright. There. Oh, why is it not? Oh. Because I have it on the wrong one. Where did I put it? Yeah, meanwhile, they're both finding good enemies. The wolf zone is actually very good. It's uh, 10 wolves to beat the game, more or less, or even less now. Level 9 giving us a decent attack. Oh, those uh, those hit points, this might be fightable now. And uh, yeah, he's going directly back. 25% sleep, so it's not too bad. 50% stop spell resistance is pretty gross, though. Um, so he might try it. It might be better to just throw the hurt more than not try, but they don't know that. Yep. Yeah, I think Chroma's looking directly at that armor knight now, uh, which would be two kills. He only needs to kill two armor knights to win this. Um, meanwhile, Sassage has found some metal scorpions, which isn't a bad grind at all. It's pretty safe, and... Uh, um, and that those desert tiles isn't too bad. Yeah, this is this is quite the thing, though. Hey, we're only about two hundred and forty-one away from the next from finishing, though. Yeah, right now he just needs one armor knight and one regular knight, and that would do it. Um, uh, he's still going in. He wants this. He doesn't even heal up. Let's see. Uh, the Armor Knight does ambush with sleep. He has 81 max hit points. He might be able to survive three hits. Uh, nope. He's getting hit again. At this point, yeah, he's just toast. So that one didn't work out. Yep. Man, if Sausage wants to catch up, he needs to, uh, do it, like, now. Yeah, all of the, uh, the Rogue Scorpions and Wraith Knights that Chroma was fighting really kind of carried him here, while uh, Sausage was kind of stuck in running away or getting slaughtered by these, uh, Hawksness enemies. Now, 795, again, one away, continuing to deal with the Drolls, still zapping them. I mean, the Droll isn't a lot of experience, but... It's pushing him closer to where that armor knight plus anything else will win it. I mean, you only need... T 10 enemies that give you 20 XP, so... Yeah, but if he gets this one, then he basically just needs one of anything. 
and that's what he wants. He probably feels a little bit behind with an enemy like this. It's really hard to tell. And he gets the first attack, throws out the stop spell, and it lands. This is his fight. It works. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I mean, the armor knight's attacking, but it doesn't matter as long as this hits, and it does. He is just a few experience away it. from the goal already. Fifteen experience away. Yeah, I, I, short of something absolutely disastrous happening, Chroma's got this. He gives up the armor knight, and it's a scorpion. He's guaranteed. Oh my gosh, after that second race, a scorpion, and he has the thousand experience. It is over. GG chromaticism. Also, I don't know if anybody noticed that. 66 hit points at level 10. <laughs> Jeez. That's crazy. But yeah. GG's. Uh, I say we wait till Sausage finishes to have them both chatter if they want to. Well, he's not too far out. We don't know if either of them are hanging around here. They might not be. Um, sometimes you don't want to watch your races, especially live like this. But yeah, there's no uh, within one second, there's no five second retime. Uh, this was a very clear difference. And with all of the, the deaths they took early on, even with that early hurt more, you might have thought that this could even be quicker. But nope, he was able to uh, to find the decent enemies, you know, searching instead of settling for something suboptimal, and it was enough to carry it. Yep. Uh, also, I do see that Chroma's in lurking in the chat room, so I don't know about Sausage. That's up to him, Chroma. Here's your open invitation if you want to come in here and talk about this, uh, uh, what was that, about a 15-minute seed for you. But yeah, Sasuke is still going. He is, I mean, right now, about one axe night away. It uh, doesn't look like he's concerned about that one in particular. I think he just wants to grind what's left and to finish it out this way. But man, you had that, that tease right away. You had a, a two hurt more enemy that you could go, just clobber, and it was such a pain to kill. Yep. So, Chrome, are you going to want to join us in here after uh, Sasuke finishes or no? Okay. That's fine. Uh, but thou must. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sausage uh, dies the droll. The, uh, droll. That was a, a heck of a thing, too. It wasn't just that you had the armor knight in there, which you had sleep. You had drolls and knights with DL2 breath. And then uh, stonemen, which are unreasonably difficult to run from. So you just you had a lot of obstacles just to get to the armor knight. And uh, I think that big decision decision to just bolt and do something else really kind of paid off because we've seen Sassage really struggle uh, here just getting clobbered and having to run from things he couldn't fight. Uh, speaking of, Sassage only 30 XP away from level 10 as well. Yeah, he'll be here in just a moment. Uh, or, I mean, to finish this one up, unless he keeps uh, getting killed by Stoneman, which unfortunately is what happened. And yeah, what what this? Uh, it was just a lot of randomness. We knew this was going to be very quick. I think the uh, guide suggested fifteen to twenty minutes, and uh, that was was basically what our range is looking like. I think one middle scorpion at this point, and Sausage has it. Well, now we're 16 away. Or, no, 26, sorry. I can math. Yep, and that was it. And very much and that Dark Serial. That Scorpion. Considering race 2, where I think Chroma killed about uh, 10,000 Scorpions, <laughs> that that is the thing that ends this race. Uh, let me see if Sausage wants to... Yes, open invitation for him as well, if he is interested. Um, but yes, I this... just DM'd them. But no, I know we don't have a, a whole lot more time because we're going to switch over to the next race in just a couple minutes. But uh, 
what this means is this is the uh, the result of the quarterfinals is that uh, Chromaticalism will be moving on. He will be facing the winner of the Angel FM and Brian Williams 42 series. Uh, I will not uh, reveal anything about that one. You can look it up if you want. Hopefully you've seen those races because they were both very good. Yep. Uh, can you tell me who Tilo's opponent is? Because I don't want to have to look it up right now. Yes, at 8 o'clock tonight, which is in our Eastern time, which is in 19 minutes, uh, Tilo Tilo will be facing off against the Minva in uh, what I am told yeah. is a standard plus perma torch flag set. Nothing uh, crazy like we've seen in the previous two. I think they wanted the uh, the rubber match to be more traditional, just in case. I, I, I didn't ask them, but I have a feeling the first two races, each one of them sort of picked out the flag set. And uh, I'd be surprised to see if, uh, or I'd be curious to see if the person who picked out their own flag set was the one that won, or if it went the other direction. Yeah, also, Sausage has declined an interview. So, I guess we should wrap things out. Uh, I will see you in 20 minutes, all. Have a great night. See you on the next restream. Yep, it's been a pleasure. And don't go anywhere. Yeah, stay right here. We will be back. I will be live probably here in the next five minutes. <laughs>